Hey troops, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday and I almost said Thursday. The last, what was it? Two weeks in a row, I was a couple days behind and today I'm a day ahead. This week I'm a day ahead, I'll say, say it that way. So, good morning, good morning. Whoa, that flew out, king of pumpkins. Okay. So, looks happy. Wednesday, October 23rd. Huh. I don't know, something about today's date, I'll tell you that though. I did wake up feeling refreshed, which is ironic because it is a rainy day. So, maybe I'll start like in any days more. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a fluke. <clears throat> well, I'm just looking at the mushrooms. <clears throat> Out of everything in the, in the photos, I, I'm being pulled to those. So, magic mushrooms, but not really no such thing as magic mushrooms. Um, well... Unless you're partying, right? But like, <laughs> something about magic here. <clears throat> the lovers. The lovers. Queen of Pumpkins wanted to pop out too. So, now you got a court. Now you got a court couple. This is definitely being guided. Who, me? Couldn't be. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Is that how that song goes, Caden? Mm. Kate's home today. He has doctor appointment soon. How's that song go? Okay. I stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? No, you stole. Do you know what it is? No. Okay. Something about a cookie jar. Better than being in a pickle jar, right? So... It's almost like... I could even say this one's spying, and it's like playfulness. Like, what are you looking at? What are you doing? That's that's mine. My literature. Like, I I don't. I'm not looking at it like you gotta beware. All right, but like, it also is a vampire, right? So not in a bad way, but like playful biting. It's a lover, right? <clears throat> So you guys are lover, lovers, you guys are a match, if that's what it's referring to. <clears throat> She's looking down. She likes animals. I find it ironic, not like really ironic, the back of her chair actually looked like a coffin to me, but something maybe he would sleep in. But, um, oh, they are known to sleep in coffins, right? Um, the lover is, is making a choice. But to me, it's like, choice already made. Like, who, me? Yeah, you. Like, and you guys know something. It, it's, it's cute, it's cute energy. You both might be ruled by the moon. <clears throat> got the eight of bats. <clears throat> so someone's feeling like, Ugh. and it's her. So she's either like, he's feeling this way or she's feeling this way. And it's, and it's a feeling, it's an illusion. You can always, I mean, it looks like toilet paper. You can rip right through that, right? Like, it, it's like not even like a big deal. Cats playing with it. It's, it's happy-go-lucky energy, but you don't want to get caught up in this type of energy. <clears throat> so either she's caught up in it, or she's about to be released from it, or she thinks he's caught up in it. Someone's caught up in something. 
could there be a love triangle? You know, it's obviously it's possible because the lover is here. But you could just be dealing with a Gemini, you know, but to me it's like which way do I go? I'm just looking at like the moths on the cloth. So it's like a, a moth to a flame type energy. <clears throat> so the attraction is probably intense. So let's see if we can get <clears throat> a little more out of this. That song that keeps coming to me is something, something, follow suit. What's that song, kid? Way too, way too far, you got a something, follow suit. No? You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Isn't it Kylie Jenner's boyfriend that sings it? <sighs> so I don't know if you're following suit. Someone wants you to follow suit. I mean, you're, you're the same suit. Oh, man. Way too... You're way too deep, you gotta follow, I don't know, something like that. Someone said, that's it, someone said, you don't know that song, Cade? No, I do, I keep singing. Someone said, I'm way too fast, that's all. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's so, like Travis Scott. Travis Scott, okay, what's the name of it? Google it real quick. Sicko Mode. Sicko Mode. What's the song about Sicko Mode? Doo -doo. All right, uh, uh, sicko Mode, huh? Can we Google what the meaning is to that song, if it has one? The meaning of Sicko Mode? Any luck, child of mine? No. What's the meaning behind the song Sicko Mode? Wait, that's who's. Oh, Travis Scott. Okay. Behind the Sicko, sicko Mode treat. No. Huh. Wait to. <laughs> what is it called? What is it called again? Sicko Mode. S-I-C-K-O. Where are you going? Downstairs. Okay. We'll play Madden. Wait, Madden? Okay. According to them, the competition can't stand them when they go by sicko mode or beast mode. Okay, so it someone's in beast mode energy. Unstoppable energy. So it's almost like you can't stop this. Huh. <laughs> so so there's that, guys. All right. It's, it's the unstoppables. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. And then you got the page of bats. All right. So it, it's like... This one to come out, so I really feel like I'm, I'm putting these together, right? But you got the two of cups. So there's definitely a connection. Partnership looks more like a lover, somebody you're sleeping with versus, you know, something platonic. But it's like watching it develop. So it's like they're watching each other. It's just whatever this is, is growing. Tell me about the lovers. You could be dealing with an air sign, water sign. You could be dealing with any sign, guys. You know how that works. You know how that works, but somebody's in beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. You can't F with me if you wanted to. All right, three of pumpkins. So... <clears throat> Definitely some type of teamwork contract 
could be at that party, though. Somebody needs to obviously choose. Her back is not turned to him. Neither their backs are turned. They're together. But mentally, I don't know if someone's getting out of restriction, feels restricted. But it's like, not. she's smiling. She's not really focused on that. So, I don't know if that is referring to the party or not. Um, I think it's more about a spiritual contract and what direction to go in. Tell me about the Queen of Pumpkins. This is a, a it's like a spiritual partnership. And it looks like there's work to be done. It's almost like because the two, the 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 two of wands was at the bottom, so it's almost like this has to go in a direction. It's like it's time to move this connection in a different direction, and it might be involved in work. Being the three of pence. <clears throat> It's almost like, <clears throat> I feel like if there was something restricted, the restriction's over. Because this is like, sh like shits and giggle cards to me right now. <clears throat> I don't feel like you're extremely mental. Like I don't see any basket case energy, if that makes sense. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But see what I'm saying? It's, it's almost like <clears throat> your magic... Someone could be a chemist, a chemist or a scientist, or just magical shit, right? Magical. Um, something about your brain. It's like, where's my brain? Could be dealing with a Virgo, or she's in Virgo energy, but to me it's, you know... It's the hermit, somebody who soul searches, but this is somebody who already has that sage wisdom, already has it, like very intuitive queen, right? But she already, she already has it. It's, it's more like, it's time to put this shit together. But I don't, I don't think she's thinking that. I think this is her ability. It's like, take the lid off, right? Take, take the lid off the pumpkin, or it's like the lid was off and now she's like, let's put the lid back on the fucking pumpkin so I can focus. And like, you know what I mean? Jelly beans is, is something like that. <clears throat> because look at that freaking hermit. You know, five of pence, see, with the tower. So it's almost like that whole misery loves company. But this would not be that. She would not feel left out, not with this energy, not with these cards if that was the case either. She she wouldn't feel defeated. She might feel defeated if she scrambled like this. But if she was in her shell, because it's a Cancerian, she's like, she slid right back into that shell. But she's about to beast mode some shit right now. I'll tell you that. No question. She's about to go into beast mode. Now, are they going to do it together? It, it looks like that's the way it's designed to go down. But if not right now, she's about to go into beast mode. Tell me about the eight of bats. Or he is, or together. Like It's more like something was a secret, well-kept secret on her behalf, but because it's her. But not like, hey, I can't let my partner know. It's not that type of energy. It's just like, wait and see what I can do. Wait and see what I can do. Faith, trust. Tell me about the Eight of Bats. Eight of Swords. What are we at? What are we at? I, like, I love that Hermit card, guys. Have you ever seen a Hermit card look like that? And what I was just saying, like, have you ever seen a frog sitting on a log? I think that's it, how it's said. And it's ironic because that frog's there. So some type of nursery rhyme type thing. She might be a mom or she's just... She might work with children. I'm not, I'm not really sure what that's referring to. So it's the seven of wands. 
see, it's like, she won't give up. She'll fight. It's, it's all about that belief. I was just belief and, and faith. You know, she has to fight off other people. She's going to fight off other people. She was not busy fighting off other people. She might think her mind was scrambled, but it wasn't. <laughs> but it wasn't. That's how I look at it. Like, it, it was. You might have mentally felt like that. But your energy was protected, too. You were exactly where you needed to be. And I just, I just heard, stand up, get up. Okay. So, something, don't give up the fight. Yeah, so, she's about to go into warrior mode, beast mode, sicko mode. She's gonna be sick. She's gonna be sick at what she does. She's gonna be dope. <laughs> Tell me about the seven of wands. Ooh, something flipped. And it's the chariot. So, you might be dealing with somebody in Cancerian energy. Alright, but she's... She might be in competition or a competitive industry. It could be anything like that. But she's not. She's moving right away. She's moving right away from that drama. She's taking her little pumpkin head and she's out. All right. And it's funny you guys are coming in as pumpkins. King and queen of pence. You know, that's that's one of the best court couples, in my opinion. I, I like that court couple better than even the emperor and the empress, to be honest with you. Because they have it all. It, it's not just strictly this. It's not strictly that. It's we can do it all. So she's about to move away from this this energy. And, and she will literally fight anything she needs to fight. She's about to go into beast mode. I absolutely love that hermit. It does remind me of, of somebody who was <clears throat> tucked into their shell. And, and is about to, to come out, right? So whoever was feeling that type of energy, you're about to go into sickle mode. And, and that's like the magician to me too. I love it. I love it. Tell me about the hermit real quick. Tell me about the hermit. Ace of Pumpkins. Yep. See? Brand new start. Ace of Pens. Look at all the goodies. Look at all the goodies. That's awesome. And sh she has somebody who matches her energy, her her everything, her her lifestyle, you name it. There, there's, there's someone here. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. She's about to kick ass. And I think somehow he has something to do with it, with the three of pumpkins. She, there was not much contentment in either her old job, because this is all pence, or because the eight of ghosts is at the bottom of the deck, which is the eight of cups. But again, taking the pumpkin, going towards happiness, right? And underneath, look at that. See? Ace of pence. Some type of, I mean, ace of cups. She's going right towards fulfillment. It's it's karmic too, it's but it's good karma. It's fulfilling her karma. You know? So fantastic shift of energy. Which is great. <clears throat> so and if the energy didn't didn't shift yet, you know, it's it's just a matter of time. Because why you were in hermit mode, okay, you were actually creating. There was a purpose for that. So overall message, one card. Yeah, massive transformation. Okay. Look how beautiful the death card is too. It's like, all right, I'm about to water my pumpkins again. About to water my seeds. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. Tell me about the death card. You went through a beautiful transformation. You could be down with the Capricorn, but if you ask me, you just, you went through a beautiful transformation, troops. Well, whoever this is regarding and Jupiter is about to bless and you got that moth right there it's pouring out it's pouring out what's going on what's going on
it's like, watch me, watch me. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's resurrect, resurrection to its finest. It, someone's like a, like a brand new person comes out like a brand new person. You know, so <clears throat> you get then you get the nine of ghosts, which is the nine of cups. And the Eight of Bats. So I'm just trying to look which is the Eight of Swords, but that's that's not that's a, actually a good thing. That massive transformation is bringing you to your happiness, and you're getting out of this. Yeah. See, look at the bottom of the deck. Six of Bats. So you're getting yourself, getting yourself out of this. You're you're literally untangling yourself as we speak, and you got the Devil Reverse. So coming out of that that toxic energy, and then going right to the Ten of Pence, new foundation, happy foundation. There was a karmic lesson here, and now you're on your next one. It's getting yourself right out of this energy. You might possibly still be going through a transformation. Um, but you'd be, you're going to feel a shift soon. You won't feel restricted. Um, this could take place within, I think the next five days, your energy is going to shift, but this could be like a five month transformation. Like by spring, you could be in a brand new location, stuff like that. Because this is this is feel good new energy. It's a brand new you. It's a brand new world. <clears throat> right? You're about to fly on a magic carpet. So, I love it. I love you guys. See you later, Gators. Bye.